So I want to show you a little bit about winter camping and you're going to see this full sun and think uh, I'm here at Zion's National Park. I'm at the Visitor Center parking this morning. I just camped here. Got down in the very low 20s or upper teens last night and I just want to show you what I did for my bed to camp in the really cold. Um, so basically I put down this yoga mat. That was one thing. And then I had this other Coleman camping mat. And then on top of that, I put this, uh, I don't know, just a comforter or something that I found out in the garage. But then I have this Coleman uh, sleeping bag that doesn't zip. So it's a great, it's a Coleman Max. It's a, it's a beautiful sleeping bag with a zippers broken on it. And, uh, what I learned is that you want to leave the opening facing that side of the car so that the cool air that comes from the door over here doesn't get to you. And then inside of that, I had another little Coleman uh, mummy bag. So uh, I kept really warm, but you know what really made a, the huge difference is that on the bottom of this uh, Coleman uh, pad, there's these little tie downs and I lifted them up so that the cool air wouldn't come in the door and get my feet because that's what was causing me all the trouble the night before this was down it was almost the same scenario but just tying this up here a little bit you can see I have this little wooden rod here and uh, just tying that up there just made a huge huge difference uh, kept the cold off my feet and that honestly just kept me really warm all night um, so yeah, I mean, I uh, went to bed actually, and I was laying on top of this and just with this covering me. And then I don't know, probably about midnight or well, I don't know, two o'clock in the morning or something, we got cold and I just kind of adjusted and climbed up inside of this thing and got down in here. And I was kind of nervous because the night before I'd slept, but not with two sleeping bags, but just with one. And it just it hadn't been warm enough. So I think the sleeping bag inside of the sleeping bag, and then again, just protecting the feet just made a huge difference.